Class has started, and these students are eager to learn despite temperatures in the 40s. There's neither air conditioning here nor a fan. In fact, there's no electricity at the school. But that doesn't stop Ibrahima Darboa. The 26-year-old teacher loves his job and his country. He has no intention of leaving. Despite most of his friends having left to seek their fortunes in Europe, he doesn't want to go. After school here, I just go home and sit alone. All my friends are gone. But uh, they put it in me to go, but uh, I'm not sure it's a very good way to go because I have my job here. You know, it's a noble profession, and I can help my own people so that they'll become tomorrow. And then in the future, if they become something, you know, that will minimize the people going to the back way. The back way, they call it here in Gambia, meaning the dangerous journey taken by Gambians to get to Europe. The village leader has called for a meeting. Many here find it important to send one of their family members to work abroad despite the risks involved. The villagers reckon in the last 10 years, one in every five residents has found his or her way to Europe. In Bambali, we only have water and land. We can only do agriculture. We use our earnings to send our people to Europe. That's how it works. The government doesn't have a clue what's going on here. How can there be any development? Who wants his child to die on a boat? It's the hard conditions that push people to leave. However, earlier this year, there was a democratic change of power in Gambia. After 22 years in office, autocrat President Yaya Yame was surprisingly sent packing. Adamo Baro took over the presidency, and there has been a ray of hope ever since. Information Minister Demba Yawo understands very well the great expectations of young people who played a crucial role in the political change in Gambia. He knows they're waiting to get jobs, but he's asking them to be patient. With the big challenges that are confronting this government, you know, 22 years of dictatorship, it's extremely difficult to undo that within a very short period of time. My message is for them to exercise a little bit of patience, but I, and to assure them that the government is very much concerned about their plight, and we are doing everything humanly possible within the, I mean, limited means available, I mean, under our command to actually address most of their problems, if not all of them, in a very within a very short period of time. But in Bambali, nothing has changed. Bad roads and medical care are a big problem, and residents are forced to rely on a small clinic in the village that was built by one of their own who left and made it to Europe. A better life or a nice house here are due mainly to money sent by kin living abroad. Teacher Ibrahima Darboe earns just 100 euros a month. That's not enough to support his mother. One of his brothers has just arrived in Italy after crossing the Mediterranean. His mother hopes that very soon he'll start sending her money, although Ibrahima would rather that his brother remained at home. You know, being in a democratic rule, you know, that's what Gambians like. That's why people like me don't want to go. Even if not now, sooner or later, God, God must bring good. Ibrahima Darboa hopes the village gets more support from the government. Electricity and perhaps computers for the schools would be a good start.